six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here, out to do an experiment for you today to try to help answer one of the internet and tractor community's most burning questions. Will a hydrostatic transmission be able to pull as hard as a gear drive? Take a minute here, pause this video, comment down below which one you think is going to win. I'm gonna do some testing here for you today. Take these two identical tractors with these varying transmissions, hook them up from a load cell, give it a pull, and see which one can get down and grunt and yank the chain the hardest. We're gonna do this test in high range intentionally to try to keep my tires from breaking loose. So we're gonna give a mechanical disadvantage to that transmission to make sure we maintain traction as long as possible. On the back end of the machine here, I have a 10,000 pound load cell chain to where the drawbar normally would be. I'm gonna give this thing a yank and see what it can do. So between me working it back and forth there, we peaked out at right about 1120 pounds. Solid peak maybe about 1130, but that was it. We certainly didn't crack, say, the low 1100. So we're gonna unchain this guy here, bring the gear drive over and see what we can pull off with that tractor. range first gear It destroyed it. It's 3,066 pounds. That seems almost too good. See, so even in fourth gear, it managed 1,500 pounds. So that's still 50% more than the Hydro did. So, and that's your worst case scenario, high range in fourth gear. So <laughs> don't be fooled into thinking that we do these super polished videos. Like we're gonna leave this experimentation of ours here together for a reason so that you can digest the information and see what you think. I honestly didn't think I was gonna find numbers anywhere near this. In fact, I kind of almost thought that the hydro might actually be able to eke a little bit more out than what the gear drive did. There's one big variable here to this tractor setup that might make this not a completely equal test between these two machines. The hydrostatic has a three range gearbox in the rear end, so that has a low, medium, high, where this transmission has a two range gearbox in the rear end. It's a low, high. So this gives you four speeds in forward, or sorry, eight speeds in either forward or reverse. It's an eight by eight transmission. So it is possible that we have a little bit of a mechanical advantage here in that the rear end of this machine um, being possibly geared a little bit lower than what the hydrostatic is. You might be able to see that a little bit in the spec sheet. If you go through and you look at the road speed, the top end road speed for these two machines, the hydrostatic is a little bit faster, but only by one mile an hour. It's not a big difference. So. Um, 
it's got to be close, right? If that's kind of what we're coming up with and finding. So, given this here today, does the hydrostatic pull more than what the uh, the gear drive does? No. In fact, the gear drive completely wrecked it here according to our numbers. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that I would say for every person that a gear drive tractor is now the right choice, right? There's a lot of advantages to a hydrostatic in um, being much easier to work on, much easier to train, change directions on, uh, much easier for a novice to pick up on and learn to operate. Um, the gear drives are likely, frankly, going to have a little bit shorter lifespan, right? When I was pulling like this, I'm slipping the clutch out as I let it out and those plates are sliding as it starts to pull and work. That's something the hydrostatic doesn't do and so you can expect if you were doing this kind of work with a gear drive transmission over and over you're going to be splitting the thing to replace those clutch plates eventually and that's a fairly expensive repair so there's some clear pros and cons to these two different styles of transmission but if your goal is to get down and grunt and pull hard uh, yeah no substitute the gear drive here today between these two L3901s totally one and it takes all the blue ribbons right so uh, if you're shopping for a piece of equipment you have parts and service needs for a machine that you've already got give us a call at Messix we're available at 800-222-3373 or online at Messix.com